In the news tonight, over 5,000 pounds of cocaine were seized in a joint operation off the coast of Guyana. And the Guyana Public Service Union issues ultimatum to the Minister of Labour of its intent to take industrial action. We gave notice to the Ministry of Labour. The law at no time say we must state that we intend to take industrial action. Over 5,000 pounds of cocaine were seized in a joint operation off the coast of Guyana. The operation involved the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, the Georgetown Country Office, the Joint Interagency Task Force South, the Guyana Customs Anti-Narcotics Unit, and the United States Coast Guard. The drugs were found in a self-propelled semi-submersible about 150 miles off the coast of Guyana, carrying 2,370 kilograms or the equivalent of 5,224.956 pounds of cocaine. The U.S. Navy's guided missile cruiser USS Lady Gulf intercepted the SPSS resulting in the arrest of four individuals and the seizure of the cocaine. The seized cocaine will be prosecuted in the United States. The U.S. government reaffirmed its commitment to supporting the government of Guyana and its Caribbean partners in combating illicit trafficking and transnational crime to enhance citizen security. You will never decline. Extra lemon and lime. It's the two combined. It's one of a kind. Extra lemon and lime. Extra lemon and lime. Taste the citrus in every sip. What are you doing? Igloo ice cream. You know it's good. The government of Ghana said it has taken note of the Nicolas Maduro-led administration to promulgate the organic law for defense of Esquibo. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs in a press statement said the attempt by Venezuela to annex more than two-thirds of Ghana's sovereign territory and make it part of Venezuela is an egregious violation of the most fundamental principles of international law enshrined in the United Nations Charter the Charter of the Organization of American States and Customary International Law. Further, the government said it contradicts the letter and the spirit of the Joint Declaration of Argyle for dialogue and peace between Guyana and Venezuela, agreed to on December 14, 2023 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The unlawful act, the government said, calls into question Venezuela's obligation to abide by the principles of the declaration. However, in light of Venezuela's latest action, the government has again said it has put on notice Venezuela's government, governments of the Caribbean and Latin America, and the Caribbean Community Nations, the UN Secretary General and Secretary General of the Organization of American States, that it will not countenance annexation, seizure, or occupation of any part of its sovereign territory. Meanwhile, Shadow Foreign Affairs Minister Amanza Walton-Desir says the purported law 
is null and void and of no legal effect for us here in Ghana. We certainly view this latest action by uh, the Maduro regime as being contrary to all of the tenets of international law and the international legal order. It is in breach of the um, Argyle Declaration and really um, is just another step in, in, in a series of actions that he would have taken, this is uh, President Maduro, um, in pursuit of his unfounded and illegal claim on RS Equibo. And so we are in agreement with the government in this regard that certainly um, this is unacceptable and uh, we're calling on Venezuela to demonstrate uh, maturity, to demonstrate its commitment to international law and the, its commitment to the preservation of this region as a zone of peace. Walton the Seer, like many Guyanese, is concerned with the latest development. We want to urge the Minister of Foreign Affairs again to urgently convene the Foreign Relations Sectoral Committee to brief us on what is happening, to brief us on the steps that they have taken um, since this egregious action. Certainly a, a press release um, will not do. By now, the president should have briefed the leader of the opposition. He should have addressed the people of Guyana. And, and he should have been able to assuage the concerns. I am inundated with calls um, all morning. MP, what's next? What's happening? And we have to give our constituents answers. Guyana, the statement said, as always stood by the principles of the United Nations Charter, the rule of law, and peaceful settlement of disputes. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use, wash me clothes and I can say. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks for wash your soap powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have my clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. It's here. Igloo ice cream fruit bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango, pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with fluty popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at igloo outlets and all your favorite shops. The Guyana Public Service Union today issued an ultimatum by way of letter to the Labour Minister Joseph Hamilton. Union President Patrick Yard speaking at a press conference at the Union's Regent Street office said the ultimatum gave notice that the Union intends to take industrial action. A letter that was completed yesterday afternoon, it was the last action, was sent to the Minister of Labour, copy to the President and the Minister of Public Service and Finance. We gave notice to the Ministry of Labour. The law at no time say we must state a date that we intend to take industrial action. Once we decide to take an action, we will take an action and we have enough clout for it to be effective. The union is proposing a 50% increase across the board for all public servants and for the respect for collective bargaining. But if you look at all the agreements we have with the government, and some people say we're political, but we could share with you there are several agreements that we have signed with them. They have not honored fully one of them, all the terms of the agreement, not one. In addition, the union said it rejects President Afan Ali's position that public sector employees must wait another two years to benefit from improved remuneration. These improvements are overdue and must be immediately addressed. They are merited, affordable, and sustainable. The union will be fully justified to take whatever means are at its disposal to exhaust all opinions, all options available to attain social justice and a better life for all public servants 
and their families. The union positive that the government, through its vice president by Jack Dio, expresses reluctance to negotiate with certain unions, namely the Guyana Teachers Union and the GPSU, on the basis of its own perceived false claims of political affiliation and unreasonable demands of these unions. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.